name is Faith, and today I want to show you how to access data from the 2020 Decennial Census Demographic and Housing Characteristics File, or DHC, and compare that with the data from the 2010 Decennial Census. The DHC provides demographic and housing characteristics data for all types of geographies found in the United States and Puerto Rico, including age, sex, race, Hispanic or Latino origin, household type, family type, relationship to householder, group quarters population, housing occupancy, and housing tenure. Let's get started. I want to look at the number of households with and without children found in occupied housing units based on whether the housing unit was owned or rented in 2020. Ideally, I'd also be able to find out whether the children in the household were school age. And then I want to get the data for all counties in Missouri. In addition, I also want to find the same data for the 2010 decennial census so I can see how things have changed since the last census. So let's go into data.census.gov so I can show you how to find this. To start, let's go to data.census.gov and click on the advanced search button found beneath the search bar on the landing page. I always like to select the geography first. So from the lower left side of the screen, click on geography, county, Missouri, and check the box next to all counties within Missouri. Then on the left, click on topics, housing, owner, renter, householder characteristics, check the box for owner, renter, tenure, then click on topics again, families and living arrangements, children, and then check the box for children. Notice that I did not select a specific year filter like 2020 or a specific survey filter like the one for the DHC. These omissions were intentional. If I select 2020, then I won't be able to easily switch to data for a different year like 2010. Since I don't know what product may have been used back in 2010, I don't want to select a survey filter just in case it was something different. Once all the filters I need are selected, I can click on the search button in the lower right screen and then we receive a list of tables for this search. The first few are for the American Community Survey, or the ACS, and those aren't ones that we want, so we can move past them. Since we want data from the decennial census, we need to look for tables that are labeled as such. The source of the table is found right above the table name. I think I want to take a look at HCT2 tenure by presence and age of own children. That sounds like it may match what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the table to view it. It looks like this is exactly what I was looking for. So now I have data for the 2020 census. Now I just need to find the same table for the 2010 census. If we explore this table a little, we can see that the option to select the 2010 census data is available in the drop-down menu right above the table. Notice that in 2010, this data didn't come from the DHC, but rather it came from Summary File 1. Still, even though the tables come from two different product sources, the table itself provides the same information. You want to keep in mind, though, that this easy switch between the 2020 and 2010 censuses doesn't necessarily exist for every table. This is because some of the tables changed IDs between the two years. Let me show you an example so that you can see what I mean. We can go right back to our list of tables to see an example. Click on age 15, tenure by presence of people under 18 years, excluding householders, spouses, and unmarried partners. We can see that this table shows the number of occupied housing units with and without children under 18 based on whether the unit was owned or rented. We can also see that there aren't any other product options available besides this single one for the 2020 census. So this means that we'll have to search for the 2010 census data in a different way. Your first thought might be to just do a search on table ID age 15. If I enter 
that in the search bar at the top and hit enter, I do get back table H15, but it's the same table that I was just looking at for the 2020 census. This indicates to me that the table ID must have been different in 2010. So now what? One of the easiest ways to start looking for the 2010 version of the table is to enter the name of the table in the search bar. So we're gonna delete age 15 and type in tenure by presence of people under 18 years. And then hit enter. And sure enough, if we go down the list of tables that were just returned, we'll find table age 19 for the 2010 census, which has the same name as the age 15 version for 2020 tenure by presence of people under 18 years, excluding householders, spouses, and unmarried partners. Now that I've located this table, I can have the data for both 2020 and 2010. I hope this tutorial has helped in learning how to find and use data from the 2020 DHC as well as from the 2010 census. For more guidance on using our site, please visit our resource page at the link below. Thank you.